Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another Arca Garage video. Today we're gonna answer the question if you can put a regular battery in a car with a start-stop system. I'm also gonna show you what I had to do to this car to keep it running with a regular battery without any hiccups for the last two years. So uh, here's how we are gonna do this. First I'm gonna take the AGM battery which is the most commonly used battery on the cars with start-stop systems. I'm gonna install it onto this car and we're gonna check out how the start-stop system works. Then I'm gonna take a new uh, lead acid regular battery. We're gonna put it into the car and see how the car behaves. And lastly we're gonna take a used regular uh, lead acid battery we're gonna install it into the car and see what's gonna happen I actually started this little experiment two years ago out of necessity the car was sitting in the garage for maybe like four or five days and when I wanted to start it it was dead Clearly it was the battery, however I didn't have uh, enough time to go and buy a new one, but I did have a used regular lead acid battery in a garage, so I just decided to install it. Just as in any other car, you got a button for start stop system, if you press it you can deactivate it, now if I hit it again I will activate the start stop system. As pretty much all of you know the main purpose of the start stop system is to turn the engine off when you come to the stop light or when you come to a complete stop. So now I came to a complete stop, the car is in neutral and now I'm gonna release the clutch pedal and you can see that the engine just turned off. Now when I press the clutch again the engine is going to start, so I'm going to press it and you can see that the engine just started. So that is basically everything that the start stop system does in my personal opinion. I think it's not very effective and it's actually redundant in the places like uh, the ones where I live. The worst thing about it is that it's gonna wear out some of the components on your car sooner. The main worry that I had when it comes to installation of the regular battery in the car with the start-stop system was that it's gonna confuse the electric system. Now I'm gonna put the new regular lead acid battery inside the car and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. The car drives perfectly fine, as you can see we don't have any lights on the dash whatsoever, so basically what I'm going to do next, I'm going to come to a complete stop and uh, I'm going to put the car in neutral and release the clutch to see what's going to happen. Okay, so I've uh, parked at the parking lot just for the safety, I'm going to put the car in neutral and release the clutch. And as you can see, the start-stop system works without any issues. However, I did take my time and I tested this thoroughly. The problem is that the start-stop system with a regular battery doesn't activate quite as often compared uh, to when I use the original AGM battery. And while the car starts up, as you can see right there, there is also another issue and that issue is that the system will shut off but it will turn on on its own. Just like that. And lastly I'm gonna install a used regular lead acid battery. This is actually the battery that I've been using for the past two years and now I'm gonna share my experience with you. As I said before, I've uh, kept this used lead acid battery in the car for the past two years. 
uh, I've tested the start-stop system for approximately six months. It worked great during the summer months, but when it was cold, it didn't work at all. So I've decided to turn it off. The car ran great with it. I didn't have any uh, warning lights or anything like that on the dash and I didn't have any issues whatsoever. Now since it is 5 degrees outside the start stop system doesn't work with this used battery at all and as I said I've turned it off after 6 months so uh, next I'm gonna show you how you can do that yourself. So essentially I'm gonna use my laptop with Moot ECU scan installed and Elm cable with this yellow adapter. I'm gonna open up the software. You can see I've selected my car here at the top. I'm gonna to select body control module on the left, the proxy alignment procedure from this list and I'm gonna hit connect. I'm gonna hit Y and now the multi ECU scan is connecting to the body control module. You can see that it says right here that the vehicle is properly configured. I'm gonna hit Y again and I'm gonna go here to adjustments. Now here's the list of all of the things that you can enable or disable on the car. The one that I'm interested in is this stop start function. It says present. I'm going to hit execute. And from this drop down menu, I'm going to select not present. I'm going to hit OK. Y again. And that is basically it. As it says uh, in the notes on the right, we got to do the proxy alignment procedure make sure to read all of the notes first i'm gonna hit execute why and uh, one thing that i gotta mention uh, even if your proxy alignment procedure is not successful this change is gonna take effect okay just to show you now that the start stop system doesn't work you can see regardless of what I do with this button I'm not getting any messages on the board computer saying that the start stop system is turned on or off. Now to answer the question if you can put a regular battery in the car with the start stop system well in certain cases yes as in this one right here but I also turned off the start stop system altogether. If you are planning on keeping it on it's better to install the AGM battery because the regular battery simply can't take the punishment as the AGM one and it's gonna cost you more in the long run. If you still want to use a regular battery, I strongly suggest that you disable start stop system. Also, as you could have seen, my Alfa Romeo Giulietta didn't have any issues whatsoever with the regular battery, but that might not be the case with some of the modern cars like BMWs and such. I'm pretty sure that they would throw out some codes. Anyway, that would be all for this video. I hope you find it useful. If you did, hit that like button and support our channel by subscribing.